In this video, I'll be showing you how to install Kodi onto your Windows computer. First, you want to go to this website here, Kodi TV slash download. I'll put a link in the description, but it shouldn't be too hard to find. Okay, so first you want to click the installer button, which will download an EXE. I've already installed this, so I'll cancel it, and I'll show you where my one is now. So here's my download that I've got from that website. It's the newest version, Kodi 16 Jarvis. What you need to do, you need to click on it. You should wait for it to load up and pop up wherever it pops up. And you get to the setup screen. If you follow the instructions, there shouldn't be anything that you don't need to install. You click next, next again, and you wait for it to install. It doesn't take too long. Okay, so once it's installed, you can either leave it or you can click run. So for this video, I'm going to click run and show you what opens up. It seems like my computer being a bit slow today. Okay, so we have Cody opening up. And it will have to do a, a first time setup, so you'll see what I mean by this in a second. Maybe not. So here we have the Cody screen. And you can scroll between each one you want. So I will show you how to install an add-on installer, which lets you get all of your add-ons, which lets you watch TV. So you go to Add Source, which is in System, File Manager, and Add Source. So you should type in http colon forward slash forward slash srp dot nu this is a super repo repository and you can just call it whatever you want dot super repo so once you have this installed here you shall go to settings which is in the system tab you go to the add-on section and you shall go into install from zip file so as you see the SRP is at the top so you go into the SRP depending on which code you have you could have an old one a newer one or an even newer one I am running Jarvis at the moment so I shall go into Jarvis tab I can then go into all and then download the repository for all of the super repo add-ons so once you see this message pop up, add on enabled, you want to go into install from repository. And you'll see here it says super repo all Jarvis. This is where I want to get all of my add-ons from. So I click on into that. And because I want to install an add-on installer, I want to go into program add-ons. And then I find something called add-on installer. And you can click on that and you can go install once this has been enabled. You can go back to the main screen, go across to programs, and you have to add on installer. It's got a first launch, doesn't take too long. And then you can either go to featured add-ons, which is where most of the, the newest ones are, 
So you've got Extus, which is a new one that came out last week, I think. And you can click on it and go install Extus. Just install. It comes up, you have been installed. So you can come out of that one again. You can back up. You find something called Phoenix, which is also another good one. You can just install these things. Give you a good selection of add-ons to choose from when you want to watch something on Cody. So once this is done, you'll have another installed thing pop up, and you can go back up, and you can you can install whichever one you like. UK type play this is a good one. So you can install that one as well. And once you have about three or four, four or five different add-ons, then you have everything there is to do really. Unless you want to install stuff like cameras and sports, which I will get onto in another video. So once you have installed your thing, your add-ons, you can go to your video section. You go to add-ons, and you can see that you have all of the things you've installed here. So, let's say Exodus, which is quite a good one, it's recently come out. I can go to here, if I go to movies or TV shows, I can go genres, comedy for instance, and it will pick up some films that have recently come out and things that are older. So I've tried watching Deadpool, but the copy isn't too good at the moment, so I won't. I actually watched Dope last night, it's not a too bad film actually, so I'll show you a little bit of that. Once it's found all the sources, it should start automatically. On different add-ons, you might find that you have to pick the source, which isn't too bad. On this one, you have to pick the source, apparently. So, if I click on any one of these things, you usually go for the ones in the top because they're the most watched and they're usually the best qualities. So I can watch one of these. That should load up and start playing. You've got a little screen here. She doesn't. Fast forward a bit. Listen, tell her that I'm throwing a it's birthday got party. Quite, first tonight. quite good quality. And I would really enjoy the pleasure. You put this on TV and you could hardly tell a difference from anything else. But the newer films are a bit harder to get good qualities of because someone is uploading. And it should, it should all look good. So it all, it all buff as well. You can just skip anywhere in the movie or. I won't show you too much because I don't want to ruin it in case you want to watch it. But um, that's about it for the installation of the add-ons, and as I say, you can watch anything. Um, so yeah, that's that for that. You can also, I'll show you some other ones, just because I want to prove that they're working to you. So, you go to Phoenix, because I quite like Phoenix, and I usually use this add-on, the TNPB. You can go to Movies. TV, kids, got themes, the stand up and documentaries. So I'll show you one for the kids. Go to kids and then go to, say, Cartoon Land. I have no idea what these things are. Oh, a bit of Danger Mouse. Let's have a look at that. So I see you've got all the seasons, I believe. So let's say we go to a new one, season 8, just pick anything. They might not all be there, that looks like it's 10 seconds long, so. I say it's hit and miss with this sort of thing, so. Ten minutes long, not seconds. He's the greatest, he's fantastic. Wherever there is danger, he'll be there. Well, let's see what's going on, DM. Might be aliens wafted in folk off to another planet, so. Uh... Better take Penfold with you. Hang on, I can't go in my tap shoes, I'll have to yeah, wait! Like showing that it works. It actually works probably, so you can choose anything you want, really. All sorts of Disney originals and things. Not that I've heard of. 
many of them there. So that is showing you how these things work. Let's uh, say so you can get more playlists and things, more um, add-ons, which I will show you in another video. But these are the these are the main few I use: Exodus, Phoenix, sometimes Salts as well. But that is the main part of coding which I use. So I'll show you how to do modifications to things in other videos, and I hope that this has been a help to you. If not, I'll just leave a message in the in the box below, and I'll I'll get back to you. All right then. Thank you for watching. Cheers.